Harley 417 with another video. The Patriots at Jets week. I'm losing track of the weeks. Really I ain't even been paying that much of attention to it. Uh week 12. Recap. So basically this to sum up this game, the Jets and Patriots played at 1 o'clock. Live from the Meadowlands. Stadium was obviously dominated by Patriot fans, even though it was our home game. But to sum the game up in itself, in itself, at halftime, the Patriots made adjustments and the Jets didn't. Plain and simple. And what does that fall into? What is that uh, adjustments, timeouts, coaching decisions, game plans, moving? What does that have to do? What does that have to do with the Jets' failures this year? What is all of that wrapped up, gift wrapped, tied with a bow? What does all of that come together as for the Jets? And what direction do they need to go moving forward? Coaching, Todd Bowles, offensive play calling, failing to call timeouts when you need to. It's a fourth quarter, and you're down two touchdowns, and you punt the ball away. You're giving up when you do that, man. You cannot do that when you've got a young team. You've got a guy like Jamal Adams. That is a rare find. This guy is out there playing lights out, stopping the run. He's a safety. He's stopping the run. He's pressuring the quarterback. He's deflecting. He shut down Gronkowski by himself. Gronkowski, when he got his touchdown, was not against Jamal Adams. Jamal Adams defended a ball two times in the end zone against Gronk. He's a guy that laid out, laid the wood on Gronk earlier in the game, I believe, near the sideline. You know, a guy that when, a, when, when, when opposing offense's game plan, they avoid. You got a guy like that that's that young, and you're wasting him. Todd Bowles needs to go. So, <coughs> final score is 27 to 13. Like I said. In the second half, the Patriots made adjustments and the Jets did not in the second half. Uh, it was 10 to 10 at halftime. The Jets played a great, a great offensive and defensive game in the first half, in my opinion. They were still getting picked apart ridiculously with the pass game. And what I don't understand about this Jets defense is it's like a glaring problem every week. This week, it's the passing def like. The only time guys were getting open and Brady was completing passes, they were wide open. It's like, it, it wasn't like Brady was trusting a receiver to make a play. Brady was sitting here hoping that the running back would make a play with the yards if he threw it to him on a screen. There were guys wide open and covered. It, it was like the Jets defense was screwing up the whole game. The second half, it didn't change. Todd needs to go. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Uh, they obviously battled back and uh, made a game. I mean, I, after losing to Buffalo the way they did, uh, they actually tried to win this game. But it still stands. Jets are 3-8. and eight. Season's over. What I think the Jets should do the rest of the season, if I'm the head coach of the Jets, if I'm Todd Bowles and I know my job is on the line, I am trying to get these guys to finish strong, believe it or not. Because my not only does my job rely on it, but the young lives, Jamal Adams, Sam Darnold, guys that your future, the future of this franchise revolves around. Those guys are sitting here thinking, man, we lost last year. Why are we losing again this year? We have no reason to lose. If, if this place, if this city, if this green and white football team is all about losing, I don't want to be here. Change the culture. You said you'd do it in week one, Jamal. Jamal, Todd Bowles, all the Jets for that matter. You said you would change the culture. When... Compete in your games the rest of the stretch. That's all I ask. It's obvious we've got problems on the coaching end. Let that happen. 
Let these guys get fired in the offseason. That has nothing to do with you guys. Go out and play your hearts out. And if I'm Todd Bowles, I'm making sure that I'm getting that message out to them. You play your hearts out. No matter what happens to me, I want to be known as the guy that got these guys to play. You're either an idiot and you, you, you fall in life and you fall for a reason or you just fall flat on your face and you don't care about it. You got to find a way to get out and at least look like half the man you're, you're trying to be. You, let me know what you guys think in the comments below the Jets should do to finish the season off. 27 to 13, they fall today. In the Meadowlands, they got Buffalo next, I believe, in Buffalo. And then at Tennessee. Just just show up, Jets. Just show up like you showed up today. And this time make adjustments. And if you don't, then it's a coaching problem, and we all know that. But show up. Compete. Don't just sit there. Say stick a fork in us, we're done. Don't do that. Go out there, get your job, do your job. Greatness will come. Greatness does not come overnight. It has not come over in one season. Greatness will come over time. And the Jets will fill their needs in this offseason. Next year will be the winning year. Next year will be the test. Next year the pieces will all be in place because the Jets need two things. They need a new coach, and need a new offensive line. That can all be solved in this offseason. They're gonna have the most cap in the NFL. Or second most, I don't know. Um, and you know Todd Bowles is out the door after this. I mean, it's 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 clear to me. I think even if they finish eight and eight, that Todd Bowles will be gone. He will be gone. Let me know what you guys say in the comments below. This has been the Patriots at Jets Week 12 recap. And as always, you heard it first from Harley.